Hey fellow Dludgers, I bet you didn't see this video coming. Well, I hope you didn't do jump scared or anything, because I'm determined to end this infinite recovery madness once and for all. I've pretty much tested every single aerial and special move, including customs, with every character. But this time, I actually did it in small smash. I didn't do it last time, I think it just never crossed my mind. As it turns out, there are a lot more characters that can go up infinitely than I thought, and a lot got pretty darn close. If your main isn't highlighted, I know how you feel. If you don't have three, just equip the home run bat badge and maybe some quick batter badges, if you have them, then go to crazy orders where you can knock out the rounds super fast. Be sure to check your inventory after every turn to see if you have them. If you don't have the home run bat badge, then maybe try classic mode. Most of the fighters will have custom specials, and I'm gonna be doing it in a small light smash. So let's jump into action. Wait, didn't I just use that? First up, we have Luigi. He'll finally be unbeatable because now edge guarding him is impossible. And plus, he can edge guard you infinitely better than you could before. His side B is good for stalling, but it's just not good enough for infinity. Bowser is good for avoiding any attacks while rising and challenging anyone brave enough to try to stop you above the upper blast zone. You could just get a kill. I know I already did Kirby in my last recovery exploit video, but it's not just his hammer that works for this. Hey, that reminds me of a joke. Why can't Kirby obtain abilities on his left? I'll give you the rest of the video to think that over. Yoshi is really tough to do this with because you need a B reverse every time you reach the edge of the screen, which means you tap the B button then quickly input the opposite direction without inputting a side B. You'll turn around with a surprising amount of momentum. Oh yeah, Dr. Mario works the same as Luigi with his down B. Greninja can sneak to tap opponents offstage easily with his side B. They'll never see it coming. This works with all his custom side Bs. This one's a blast. Just use Fox's gun, and you'll find that with every shot, you're one step closer to Corneria. I don't know where Corneria is, so maybe you're going away from it. All I know is that it's only on the 3DS version. Link and Toon Link can do this with just bombs. No up be needed. If you're interested in taking way more damage than necessary, I guess it's a little more controllable, maybe. Bowser Jr. is back for more, but no longer needing a wall, he can now join the rest of the crew way up in the sky. Send bombs hurling at your opponents with Samus. You don't even need the propulsion of the explosion to go up infinitely, just the initial jump. And it works with all of our custom downbees. Are we already at Charizard? Man, this episode is fine. Charizard's default side B and the other one that inflicts damage are pretty bad for this, as only a couple minutes will go by and you'll rack up an incredible amount of damage. So, use the one that doesn't take any damage. When you use it right next to a wall, it's completely silent. Palutena can go up infinitely. What else is there to say? Did he see this one coming? Well, it's true. He's the bomb when it comes to recovering, and you can even blow up your opponents while you're at it. Martha and Lucina are a different story. You need upward momentum to gain infinite height with their side Bs. If you stop going up, you'll stop going up. Period. Actually, comma. Because that's not the only move that they have that gives them unending elevation. Their neutral Bs work too. But like Yoshi, a B reverse is required. The cool thing about them is that you can combine both methods to make it easy. Just use the thrust when you accidentally stop doing your side B and you'll be good to go. Well, goodness me. I guess he works too. Both his Dale Strike and Blurring Blade work. If you thought specials were the only things that sent you up, you'd be wrong. One of the characters that can use his aerials to gain height is Rob. His down air can meet your opponent while he recovers. Then there's Fox again. He's getting all kinds of attention today. But to the point, his forward air gives him a boost at the end. The first couple hits of this to send an opponent downward but you have to be moving down as well, so meeting on your opponents is probably not a probability. The next ones I'm going to show are just the ones that came really close, or thought deserved to mention. Some of the characters can go up forever with different moves, but I'm just focusing on the moves themselves. I say Lucario's down me that just attacks is pretty counterintuitive. Palutena has quite a few moves that can stall her. There's no monkeying around with Donkey Kong. His edge guard strats are unmatched with this technique. Zero Suit Samus can use her side B. Rosalina could do this if Luma would just step up his game. 
he'd be a star. This may seem odd, but some down airs are actually close to cutting it. Greninja and Mr. Game Watch just trying to slow down during the middle of their moves. When I discovered that this one didn't work, I was robbed of all my happiness. It looks like Duck Hunt is dabbing. I don't know why Yoshi had to stop the infinite jumping with a lick. He was on a roll. This one is something special. This works with default gameplay and even default villager. It may even be useful in competitive play for stalling. And this last honorable mention works for all wall jumpers. It's not infinite, but may be used as a recovery tool just to get back on stage. Obviously, it took a while to get all this data. But when I was testing everyone, I got some pretty funny things to happen. Mostly by accident, so I'm gonna show you some of them. Ike's side B will pretty much guarantee your death if used over the stage. He just goes flying and there's not much you can do to save him. Either that, or I'm just bad at Smash. Generally, when you're small, it's just funny to see characters carry massive botches and run across the stage with them. King Dedede's up B is not too unlike Ike's if you don't cancel it. He just goes floating off the screen to his doom. The level 1 CPU actually taped me, and I legitimately could not recover. When you're light as a feather, some Muppies can get a major upgrade, like with Sonic. But some are not so lucky. Mega Man's Tornado Special does pretty much nothing. It's almost better without it. Rob not only barely gets any height, but as soon as he's out of fuel, he drops like a big piece of metal and wires put together that can perform complex actions. Oh wait. By the way, Mini Mushrooms would make certain characters capable of infinite recovery, but the Mini Mushroom isn't infinite, so it doesn't count. Before I end this video, I'm gonna summarize my results from all three parts of my recovery exploit series, just to make it clean and concise, and hopefully I don't make any drastic mistakes. But first, he's copyrighted. In the requirements column, the chats are kind of a bad thing. And the rightmost column means that you don't need to take advantage of any fixed object like a wall or the lower blast zone, meaning you can go up forever. I have a link to this chart in the description if you're interested. Well, that's that I guess. Hopefully I won't be needing to make a part 4, which I can guarantee will not happen unless they miss something really big. And if you like glitches as much as me, then see how fast you can hit that subscribe button. Just don't go too fast, you might break your mouse.